Do you not like Tom Brady for the same reason you don't like the Yankees? Their greatness. Because they both cheap? Their greatness. Oh, you don't like that his balls were a little underinflated. That's the reason he's not the GOAT. That's why I like big, 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 hefty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction, it's up Corbin. I'm Tom Brady. Um, you are definitely not the goat. I love that story about Meryl Streep though. So funny. Oh yeah, the goat. <laughs> when they kept calling her, <laughs> tell the old goat where to go. If Meryl, you, you know we're not just calling you goat, I right? love, I, it says a lot about Meryl that she did think they were calling her the old goat and she was okay with it. That she's we're talking not about full of Kangala, herself. Everyone. Stop. It's always uh, him. It's always him. <laughs> But yeah, look it up. Meryl was, yeah. she had, did no idea what the goat was. I got a treat for us. We got an Irfan Khan interview. What? Um, obviously a previous one, but it's with Film Companion. Obviously. Yeah. So I think it's this, remember that, that uh, the, the questions from the audience that we got from Ren Beer? Yes. So I think, we, even though this is not him answering questions from the audience, this is her interview with him. Okay. But it's the same kind of format. Got it. Um, and so he's going to go over career stuff. He's going to oh. go over acting stuff. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we could sit and listen to acting, especially by the great oh. Irfan Khan. Yes. He is... It's still so sad. It's still... It's one of the saddest losses I've felt for a celebrity. Me too. Um, and... Which is... I, I'm so thankful for the channel for many reasons, but we got to inter we know him more. Because if he just passed, we'd be like, oh, that was that guy. Yeah. If we had never seen oh, him. Oh, the guy from Life of Pi. And, 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 and he was and, good. Jurassic but World. The fact that we got to know him and, and his career and... I mean, I get to watch his work really and realize I've been able to talk to him. I know, but man. Anyways, I'm, awesome. this is gonna be amazing. Awesome, awesome. You know what's going on? Unless and until you become a good human being, you can never be an actor. You know. So, so that's not true. That's you. <laughs> Irfan, thank you so much for making time for FC Unfiltered. Um, thank you, Irfan. You know, I read somewhere. Yes, and thank you for this amazing audience. Thank you. You know, I, uh, hope, I hope you stay away from movie benefit over. <laughs> yeah, bottom line, yeah. Um, but you know, if I read somewhere that after Sharmila Tagore uh, saw the namesake, she sent uh -huh. you a message saying, thank your parents for giving you birth. I swear, uh, sometimes, you know, I've got, uh, I've got uh, kind of praise or kind of acknowledgement from people which was so uh, moving. And they, they were not compliments. It was like some kissing, you know, somebody has, you know, just poured their heart out. It's, so, Irfan, like, what are the choices that you've made that have made you the man you are today? Hmm. Uh, Good question. Getting bored with oneself, just to avoid getting bored with oneself, to keep uh, uh, my profession, because I had no other way to keep engaged myself, no other way. Uh, I had choices when I was a teenager, you know, I could have indulged in a few things and it could have, uh, you know, engaged me. Uh, but somehow, you know, my naive mind, you know, whatever, uh, it, it kept telling me that you, you need to find your space where you could, you, could, you could engage yourself, because I, I'm, I'm terrified with myself. I'm, I, I have a lot of anger, I have a lot of anxiety, I, have, you know, um, I get bored with things very easily, and I could never fit into the system, any kind of system. But are there any favorite failures? Mm. Oh yes, there are, there are favorite failures. Um, I, I won't call it failure, but it was a like, kind of uh, traumatic experience. Um, in a way, they are failure. Fail like, you know, when I was seven years old, I, I was, you know, passionate about flying kites and we were not well to do, although I belonged to a feudal family, but my, my father didn't take anything, so we were still living in a, in a rental house and uh, our terraces uh, didn't have a protection. Uh, it was Itnasa, you know, Diwari. Uh, and in the evening, I was trying to catch a thread from, it was, it was hanging from an electric uh, wire. And 
you know, I just was trying to catch it and I fell down. And I broke, uh, you know, all my, uh, this ankle, this, no, oh, sorry, this wrist, wrist, and zelbo. And that uh, took uh, at least two years for me to, you know, to, to, recover. to recover. Because my father was not there, my father was a hunter. So he was out, uh, so nobody knew what to do. Hey. So it, 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 it stayed like that. No, no, but I can, I can, no, I'm, I'm okay with it. But I, I couldn't, you know, straighten it. Huh. And then slowly, slowly started uh, losing strength. Again, uh, you know, pehlwano ke chakkar, isko seedha karne ke liye. So then he used to malish karta tha, wo kheech kheech ke seedha karta tha. And that was so traumatic to me. This most to me, nightmares are like, I'm going to look up, I'm going to look up, I'm going to look up. Kids are, you know, they are spontaneous and they, 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 they don't understand what is cruelty. And they, they you know, they get indulged in, in making fun of each other. Well, school used to make fun of me. And I, you know, I started getting into my shell and I, I was, as it is, I know, uh, I was I was a very shy guy and suddenly you know it, I lost all the confidence and everything you know I was just living in dreams at the time and it it you know it lost so much of his strength that you know my later I thought my pastime was like my hand is like this and I used to pick it up like this and I used to see ki idhar girega ya idhar girega so that I pastime ho main so happy to see you ki idhar idhar girega are idhar girega so, uh, so this trauma, traumatic experience, and this, you know, uh, being uh, oneself in that so much of a shell, it, it made me realize, made me notice things uh, that you know, I, I, I used to notice that whatever I am, people are not perceiving me like that. People are not; they don't know what is there inside me, or what lies inside me. Uh, so. When I, when I was aware of this, so there, was, there was a kind of organic need for me to come out of myself and do something so that people realize what I am. But Ifa, how does a child who, who grows up very far away from anything to do with cinema um, then sort of finds the courage to go into say that I want to be an actor and, and go to drama school and, and then I read that, that you were so insecure about the way you look that you would sleep with a pin on your nose. Yeah, yeah. How do you then get past all of that and say I'm going to make this work? You don't need to tell that you know. You don't have to talk to yourself, <laughs> you don't have to sort of pump yourself up. Uh, pump with inspiration. Uh, oh, sure this is, this is the kind of thing which I, which I was uh, suffering from when I came to uh, in the city, uh, in Delhi, there was an atmosphere where I could watch uh, international cinema, European cinema. Uh, I was introduced to all this kind of cinema, and that was my, my you know, lot of uh, source of inspiration. And I've learned a lot from from the movies. When I came to the city, uh, I was almost like in the middle of a uh, Monday. Uh, nobody talks about cinema. Nobody discusses. You don't watch uh, interesting cinema. Where do you watch it? The time when I came. So my struggle was to just keep my inspiration going. I, the first thing I, I bought from my income was VCR. And I was looking for s films. And in that time I realized that this is not my real drive. Otherwise the inspiration would have been there even without watching, watching films. So that time I realized that this is a cultivated interest of mine. Uh, I've cultivated it. So I have to keep it up, keep keep it going. Mm. So I need to buy 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 VCR and uh, I need to watch a good cinema so that you know my inspiration is pumped up. Uh, not myself by saying that I'm a good actor. I sh I, could, I, sh I should watch uh, actors uh, who 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 give me a kind of you know goalpost. Okay, reach there, experience that, explore a character with these you know this, these so many dimensions. Make a character, you know. They, so, so you have goalposts, but but you can't keep pumping yourself, saying that I'm a good actor. That's a, that's a, that would be a folly, I think. It will, it can work for certain people, for sure, but it won't work for me. You need something else. I need something. Else. But there are people who love to say that I love myself and I'm great, and it works for them. And you know, there's there's no judgment about it that you know they are wrong or I'm right. Thinking of Leo and uh, each one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Irfan is perhaps the only actor in the world who has worked with both Ang Lee and Anis Basme. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
rational and easy and from the ends of mm. the spectrum. Mm. Um, what does that take? Because I'm still struggling to 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 see myself as an as an accomplished actor where I'm I'm playing the craft. I'm still struggling. The thing is, a lot of my time uh, is is uh, I give a lot of time to Hindi cinema. And here you don't have so many challenges where you can keep polishing yourself as an actor. I go there for four months, three months, then again I have to come back here and you know. I, I'm still, you know, working on my craft. I'm still not as easy as Marco Fell. You know. So, you know, uh, so uh, that keeps you going, you know, that keeps you, that, you know, you should be that easy, then you'll start enjoying the, you know, the, being an actor. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll reach there very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, you said, uh, when you were talking about Hindi cinema, you said that um, we, we can live without nuance here. Um, you said what we need more is attitude. Um, so even if you give a superficial performance, it can still work because we're not aiming for nuance. But what does it take to give that superficial performance? Does it require a high level of skill? Like, what do you do to create that attitude performance as opposed to what you do in the West? Oh, that, that is, uh, that's just there. You, know, you don't need to work uh, on it. it. The only work you do is that you don't work too much. <laughs> that you don't put your own sensibility onto it, you know, onto it and make it liability. So you purposely dumb yourself down? Yeah, not down. No. Huh. Don't 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 research on the on, on that character. Don't don't find its background and you know <laughs> see nuances of his behavior, this and that. You know that this is there uh, uh, to to give uh, you know a, a kind of you know uh, uh, goosebumps to, to 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 people, you know, and and don't bring in all those shades, man. Don't don't work too much over it. You know, just 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 flow with the flow. You know, uh, have a good time when you're doing this uh, movie. You have related to that humor. You know, uh, you enjoyed that. So go on the sets and have a, have fun. And that's it. And that's it. You. And, and that's <laughs> Not how everybody can be the most the effortless character. man in the world. There's no one formula which fits into. When, you, when you're working on a, on a character, there's not one formula which works for every character. Right. Uh, you know, you, you will keep discovering new ways of doing it. That's what you have to discover, that each and every character needs a different kind of approach to, to reach him. Uh, this, this, there's some kind of revelation just happened with me, you know, I was doing a, 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 a movie with a, one of my favorite directors, Anup Singh, and uh, he narrated you know, the, the story and, and uh, something came Something, you know, I, I, I just realized that I cannot work on this character. Because he makes, he, he, his, his narrative is musical. He sees music in everything. Even in your behavior he sees mu uh, music, rhythm. Uh, his short taking is like that. His, his way of telling a story is like that. Because in earlier film, Kissa, Mm. I was not ready to do that because it's too dark a subject. I said, yeah, no, I don't want to fuck myself, you know. Itni do, teen, mahina, I'm, ah, this mm. uh, but when I saw him the way he was shooting it, suddenly it was not realistic. Usne bola ki, uh, jab, uh, Interesting. Uh, Just didn't, didn't pick it up until he was shooting. It, uh, mm. usme pathos hota, usme pain hota hai. He's not going through that pain. It's there inside him. He's just playing on that pain. You know, he's, he's just projecting in a, in a way that he's also enjoying that pain. So that understanding I had, you know, when I went at this film, and the next film when I, which I did with him uh, recently, Rajasthan, I didn't work at that character at all. I just went on the sets of black. I used to have great time at night, you know, just have parties, this and that. Go there, <laughs> see the mahal, and do it spontaneously. His method is to have fun. Just then and there, just create. It's the most effortless man we've ever seen. seen. <laughs> that thing, uh, not, you know, Brilliant. Uh, it needed courage for me to... It's not know. shocking. No, in the no, no slightest no, no. that he really no, is. Just, just Sometimes I just... Die. I just show, I just up, show and up, up and do it. <laughs> Because I'm fucking You know, fucking the one thing that really fascinated me last time, remember we had done a conversation, you and Kangana had talked to each other, mm -hmm. and in that conversation you had said that Bhatsab had sometimes, during directing, you had said, Rifan, Gandhi, I think that! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, how does an actor of your caliber purposely do Gandhi acting? It's not Gandhi, he was not saying Gandhi acting, he was saying that 
तू उसको अपने अंदर मत ले डोंट पर्सनलाइज इट मेक इट इज अ जगलरी मेक मेक ऑडियंस से यू नो जैसे हिंदी सिनेमा में क्या होता है कि एक्टर आएगा और जादू करेगा और ये सब हो जाएगा बिकॉज और कुछ लैंग्वेज तो काम करने दे आपका कैमरा जो है सिर्फ वो कवर कर रहा है उसमें कोई लैंग्वेज नहीं है लाइने जो है वो फ्लैट है तो अभी तो एक्टर ही है तो आपके उसमें जादू करेगा सो ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट कि गिव यू नो अ सुपरफिशियल हिप्नोटिक थिंग गंदी से मतलब उनका वो था बनेगी अपनी बात इन चल So now Chandrakanta was completely like a line bazi and uh, no character research, no nothing. You know, it's just What's that? It, it, it's how you how you can convincingly say your lines. That that's all all it was about. And and Bani ke apni baat was very realistic and you know. So somehow you know I think my 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 background my choices helped me doing this. You can juggle between you juggle between the two. But but the stylish version, you know, nobody bought it in the cinema. Uh, although it was popular in 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 in, in, in series, but uh, Jagannath and that those characters very popular. Uh, but in cinema, nobody was ready to give me that kind of opportunity. The stylish version of his son. The stylish song. version of his son. <laughs> I am I'm thankful to them. You know. <laughs> I would have I would have miserably you know uh, got sucked into it and and lost my heart. You know. If only a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to Arjun Kapoor, and uh, you know we were trying to address the issue of. Uh, an actor as a celebrity versus an actor as an artist and i was saying to him that uh, you know now actors are not just acting you you are doing award shows you're doing endorsements you're on panel discussions you're on you're doing television serials um, does that distract in any way from being an actor and he said look in our ecosystem we're actually entertainers and this is all part of being that do you see yourself as an entertainer I do myself myself see as an entertainer, but uh, as far as art is concerned, uh, whatever you know, you, you know the responsibilities you have just mentioned, art doesn't fit in any of those. Art only comes when you start making things personal, and you, when you start reflecting on those uh, things, uh, life around you, uh, life which surrounds you, you know, whatever you are you are, you are absorbing as a human being, uh, and then you are. Uh, somehow, uh, uh, you know, uh, communicating that 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 observation, your own point of view about society, about human beings through those stories. If that is not happening, then art is not happening. Mm. Uh, you are you are just as uh, entertainer, actor, celebrity, whatever you could call it. But artist only happens when you start reflecting, when you start personalizing things. So you are you can compartmentalize in your head that. Here I'm an entertainer, and here yes. I'm an artist. Yes, you have to. Otherwise, you'll confuse. Otherwise, you'll, you'll confuse the story, and you'll confuse the other people as well. You know, you'll confuse the audiences also. You know, when when I'm doing a film which is just about one-liners, I have to deliver one-liners and enjoy it. And, and you shouldn't be shouldn't be uh, uh, skeptical about it. And you know, just have fun. You know, this the story is about that. Somebody somebody was telling me about this. Uh, He he went to meet an actor and he was sitting in his uh, trailer and he was doing all kind of meetings and assistant was waiting sir short ready sir ready short ready short ready meeting sir ready meeting sir ready आप क्या लाइन क्या बोल रहे हैं he goes there comes back in maybe five minutes वो बस meeting so he was just wondering कि ये रोल कब कर रहा है यार From business propositions to other, आगे की स्टोरी और अब कहाँ मतलब यू नो पिकनिक के लिए जाना है कहाँ हॉलीडेज के लिए जाना है और सब चल रहा है उसमें मतलब उसको पंद्रह बीस मिनट निकालता है अपना टाइम लेता है एंड बीच में एक लाइन भी बोलता है हाँ एक लाइन भी बोलता है सो दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट यू बिकम एंड देन यू यू नो इफ यू एन्जॉय दैट यू एन्जॉय दैट यू नो इट्स 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 योर पर्सनल प्रायोरिटी है उसमें भी आप पूछते हो कि भाई टाइम बताए कब तक कब हो गया इतने में तय हुआ था अभी से बोल चार और भेज दे आगे की डेट तब देता हूँ <laughs> so then you start playing that game and, and, and you know if it suits you play please please play play that game whatever works for you. Ivan, you had also talked um, in interviews about the 
sort of the star system in Hindi cinema. And you said even the most interesting directors will at some point say, in the ugly film, mein, let me get a star. And you, you, you use very interesting words. You said, um, it's a very strange feeling. They feel like they almost belong to some kind of a substandard community. Nichi ja, until they've worked with a star. Hmm. This, is this frustrating for you as an actor or have you just made your peace with it? This, this made me feel helpless at the time, at one point of time. But there are so many things which could make you helpless and frustrated. Uh, that's your again again a challenge how to keep yourself, uh, you know, uh, positive and, and, and you know, uh, uh, interesting enough for yourself that you can enjoy yourself. Uh, you don't you don't let it affect you that much, but uh, it happens uh, because you are not bringing in that kind of money. One, the other thing is if you are doing something which is not from the copy book, or not not regular, which you are doing. If you are, if you bring in some new element to your craft and which doesn't confine the norms, which doesn't uh, confirm the norms, rather. There's a tendency of, 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 of the establishment that they get threatened because they couldn't use that. Mm. They think, what is this new thing? Can I use it? If I can't use it, what is he doing? You know? So there's a kind of uh, strange way of pulling that down, uh, to bring it down. And uh, it doesn't happen directly, but it happens in these kind of, uh, you know, signals. Where you're not offered, um, oh, you are a very big actor, let's go, 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 let um, ever have a sort of dark night of the soul where you just felt like, yeah, I can't struggle against this anymore? There were, there were times and there were uh, also, it was because the way I was reacting to those circumstances. Uh, I have mostly have done uh, movies uh, with first time directors who were making their first films and suddenly I've seen them, uh, you know, uh, Changing and you know, suddenly saw them that I, I first film was successful, and then the next film I wasn't important at all. And uh, subconsciously, you start banking on this theme that you know, we both have you know, then done something new, and, and then you start banking on that person, and mm. he start banking on you. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, that happened, so I'm out of that game mm. now. I don't depend, I learned my lesson. I said. It's your own journey. You cannot, uh, you know, it would be unfair on your part to start expecting that, you know, who have your journey tomorrow accordingly. Yeah, uh, you know, right. Uh, one film you did very good. No, let him, uh, you know, do his own thing and you do your own thing. Uh, so, that was frustrating at that time and before that, when I was doing series, I used to feel uh, claustrophobic, jealous, insecure. Uh, because my juniors, they were getting breaks, they were doing commercial cinema and I was struggling to just get a one minute part in, in, a, in a movie. I was doing series, everybody used to talk to me, talk about me. I, I, I used to hear that, you know, Subhaj Gai, when he, when he saw a series called Suffer, Suffer was on some channel. So he was discussing, he was talking to the director, well, he heard the con. Then I was, I used to wait. But I never got, you know, the break in, in cinema until the time was right. I remember one discussion with fun once we had about a hundred crore clubs and his name, you know, everybody used to say, Mary Pitchin is so crore, Mary Netna. And I said, he, I think he was just coming off Jurassic Park. I said, Why is he minded about 20,000 crores? <laughs> It's just not cool for actors to be discussing money. Not for me. 
not for me that you know I have a, I have a kind of uh, uh, benchmark that my film is so good that I have so many figure actors. That's a, that's too boring for me. Uh, what 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 a what a what a scale to judge yourself, man. That is you 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 are taking away all the mystery of storytelling. It's not a product which which you know it's not a sell or get or it's not a worth. It's an experience. Sometimes some stories are not made to make that kind of money. They are personal stories. There are certain stories which which can make money which they can't, they wouldn't have even imagined. Uh, there are films which you know like Bahubali. They, they would they would imagine that Monday will be thirty crore of business. It's 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 an experience where uh, it's, it's 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 a job which has mystery to it, uh, which has uh, you know you can't judge a storytelling or a story from that those figures. Figures are just byproduct. a uh, story is a life thing it is it is a life zinda hoti hai and it interacts with you and you can see physically how it's interacting with you because it's a creation creation cannot be dead and i can give you many examples how a story has come and you know nudged me and and you know created an atmosphere for me or challenged me पांच सिंह तोमर के दौरान हम अब यू विल से गैर इस सब जो है इसको व्हाट वी कॉल पांच सिंह तोमर राइट आई थिंक सो जम्बो बट आई बिलीव इट एंड आई कैन शो इट टू यू पांच सिंह के दौरान आई वाज आई वाज आई वाज गेटिंग हर्ट सो मेनी टाइम्स एंड सो बैडली यू डोंट इवन यू कांट इवन एंड विदाउट एनी राइम और रीजन आई एम जस्ट वॉकिंग एंड देयर इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्टेप व्हिच आई डिडंट रियलाइज सडनली माय बैक वाज व्हिच माय बैक इज यू नो नेवर यू नो इट्स इट्स नॉट फ्रेजाइल यू नो आई एम I've done so many things, and I'm, I'm not uh, weak from my back. And or I'm playing a cricket, and suddenly a ball, you know, the hell is a ball done here, or a tennis ball at the yard can be done. So many incidents happen. I, I, I tore my ligament with a very small incident. I'm just jumping uh, from here to there, and there are stones there, and the the trouser, you know, which which was here, that suddenly slipped over and fell down. You know. तो उस मेरा जंप करने का जो यू नो जो स्पेस है वो कम है सो मैं एक्शन जरा बंदूक लेके मैंने जंप किया वो यही रह गया एंड मैं जैसे ही गिरा टिश्यू वहां से वहां पे चला अब एक पूरा पत्थर जो भ्रूर सॉरी वो अभी बंदूक के अंदर और सो दैट फील वाज टेस्टिंग मी इन अ डिफरेंट वे कंप्लीटली एंड आई आई गिव यू वन मोर एग्जांपल क्योंकि आप जब यू नो ये लाइन थोड़ी अनसर्टेंटी वाली है तो बहुत सारी चीज़ों पे आप बिलीव करने लगते हैं देन मैं मुझे किसी ने सजेस्ट किया कि आप जा रहे हैं रुकी और इस टाइम के ऊपर आप जो है अपना महूरत कर लीजिएगा बड़ी अच्छी घड़ी है तो हम भी वो भी इनसिक्योर टिश्यू भी मैं भी इनसिक्योर मैंने कहा टिश्यू यार ऐसा बोला यार क्या करें यार उसने कहा चल करते ना यार तो मैंने कहा तो कल चार बजे का है शाम को चार से लेके साढ़े बजे तक का है महूरत तो उसने कहा हाँ कर लेगा भाई कैमरा तो है नहीं तो कैमरा अब तो छोटे से फोन ऑन किया कैमरा होगा कैमरा होगा तो आप हम पहुंच गए वहाँ जाके आपको सीन कौन सा करेंगे अरे इसकी कर लेते हैं कुछ ना इस वाटर फ्लू दिन जैसे पानी बह रहा है इसके बाद कुछ यूज़ कर लेंगे इसको सो यू वेटिंग फॉर द कैमरा कैमरा बजे आज ही उतर गया चार बज गए वो उतर गया वहाँ एयरपोर्ट पर आ रहा है आ रहा है आ रहा है साढ़े पाँच बजे बंद टाइम निकल रहा है यार बोले गाड़ी पंक्चर हो गई थी साढ़े बजे तक कैमरा नहीं आया नहीं आया तो नहीं आया और फिर क्या क्या इंसिडेंट उस फिल्म विच एग्जैक्टली बिहेव वट हैपन टू पान सिंह टू मन इन इज लाइफ एग्जाम्पल ही वॉज अ टैलेंटेड मैन ही वॉज ही मेड यू नो नेशनल 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 चैंपियन एंड हिज नेम वॉज नॉट देर एट ऑल वेन स्टार्ट रिसर्चिंग अबाउट हिम ही वॉज एक्सेप्ट पांच सिंह तुम्हारा आप टाइप करो उसके अंदर नो रिकॉर्ड नो बडी न्यू एग्जैक्टली सेम थिंग हैपन विद द फिल्म फिल्म वाज मेड एंड एवरीबॉडी वाज लविंग इट बिफोर इट्स रिलीज बट वाज नॉट गेटिंग रिलीज्ड वी गॉट सो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड आफ्टर एट मंथ्स और नाइन मंथ्स इफ एनीबडी यूज्ड टू आस्क मी व्हाट्स हैपेंड पांच सिंह आई सेड आई फॉरगॉट पांच सिंह आई आई डोंट टॉक टू मी अबाउट इट यू नो मेरी जिंदगी से पांच सिंह इज नो वे इट्स इट्स गॉन इरेज्ड and then suddenly film came out without any publicity nobody knew that ek ek brohan wala mein ek poster you know money ka bag le ke daud raha one poster <laughs> and uh, usko kuch uh, 80000 80 lakh rupaye lag gaya sa kuch aisa kuch pehla din so and suddenly the other nation mein 
and suddenly the film stood on its own merits. Hmm. So see the see the see this uh, you know the correlation between his life and film and how it interacts. So and I, I think Mahurats don't matter, Irfan. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. हम जो नारियल पढ़ते हैं वाले में तो कोई नहीं पढ़ता इरफान व्हाट्स द वर्स्ट एडवाइस यू सी बीइंग डिस्पेंस्ड इन बॉलीवुड इट ऑल जेनरेट्स फ्रॉम अ स्ट्रेंज काइंड ऑफ इनसिक्योर टू टू फॉल इनटू अ काइंड ऑफ फॉर व्यू ला पीपल हु हैवन टू रीच देयर दिस दे आल्सो हैव अ काइंड ऑफ uh a say on what how things work and how what, what gives you success and this premature way of understanding things is something is is the kind of folly ki aap bagair experience ke you have made a uh, kind of formula ki ji aise karoge to hoga aise karoge to hoga one must interact with oneself and see one's uh, potential and see uh, what is unique about oneself and and and, and and he won't get involved as an actor i think falling into formula is something which uh, which can reduce one's one's possibility and one's uniqueness yeah those are good lines to remember folks always don't fall into formula but i can we always think of you as this very intense serious actor but and when i remember reading this interview roland joshi um, from aib did after they shot that amazingly funny video with you <laughs> the club song <laughs> They were all so nervous about meeting you, but he said you were all kinds of chill. Yeah. So, so what do you like when you're not working? Ah, uh, when I'm not working, I'm I'm, I'm scattered actually. I'm scattered, and I I see every house I, I I try and and find a space for myself. Here, here I'm sitting, I'm calm, I'm drinking coffee, I'm drinking tea, I'm reading. But all the places are like this. I'm in the whole house, I'm calm. मैं जब स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ा होता हूँ तो कभी वहाँ हूँ कभी स्क्रिप्ट मेरी उस कमरे में है लाइन में यहाँ बोल रहा हूँ फिर अगर उस लाइन के बाद क्या है स्क्रिप्ट सो आई एम एम बेसिकली स्कैटर्ड मैन नॉट एन व्हेन यू सी यू नो एक्टर्स डूइंग वंडरफुल रोल्स यू नो व्हेन यू सी यू नो पीपल चेंजिंग देम कंप्लीटली एंड गेटिंग इन दैट कैन नॉट हैपन स्पॉन्टेनियसली यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन योर एंड डेलीजेंटली वर्क ऑन योर But which you do? I do, you know, yeah, I do, I do. But you know, because character excites me, character. But when I'm not doing characters, I'm at that time also. It's, it's, it's for me, you know. I, I should be able to keep tuning myself, you know, uh, at least because my uh, I, I I have done a lot of um, abusing, you know, my, I abuse myself, you know, my body and my you know, whatever, you know. Now I'm some I'm, I'm slowed down, but uh, <laughs> I'm I'm a very reckless man. I used to carry a lot of anger, which I have uh, controlled, and you know, I've dealt with it, and I'm, I'm, I'm peaceful. So the whole being is your tool. So it is, you know, it becomes a kind of uh, uh, a responsibility or a kind. Of, you should enjoy taking care of oneself. Take care of your soul. Take it soul also. You know, it's that's that's what it is. You know, to enrich your soul through your through your job, it has to have communication both ways. Uh, otherwise, you are doing injustice to your job. Yeah, you're killing a possibility. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's lovely. I, I have to tell you guys, I did an interview with Irfan and Tom Hanks for Inferno, and I remember Tom Hanks saying something like, "Well, I don't like Irfan because when he walks into the room, suddenly I'm not the coolest person in that room." <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a great line. Okay, let's open it up to questions. My name is Anjit. I wanted to ask you, uh, can the USP of any actor be created, or that is something which is inborn? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you you create your own USP as you start discovering yourself. USP. Uh, first, it is a natural thing to ape or to imitate other actors, yeah. or to find confidence when point. you resemble somebody. Yeah. Uh, I used to resemble uh, somebody gave me this wrong idea. Uh, I that my face is similar to Mithun Chakravarti, and I used to feel so good about it. <laughs> and, uh, Every actor falls into it. I used to you know copy him, and I used to. You know, uh, I used to dialogues bolta tha, tape karta tha unko. Yeah, yeah. And I used to, f- uh, you know, there's a kind of Carry gratification that, way, that yeah. you know I resemble this, so there's a possibility. So right, right, right. I'm not what I am. I am, you know, suddenly you want to you want to skip all that process and become Mitchin Chakravarti. <laughs> so, uh, but as you start discovering yourself, 
there is a kind of organic style, organic, you know, you're being, you start reflecting on the characters, and that's your USB. Your understanding, your perception, is becomes your own USB. Hi, sir, my name is Raj, and uh, you've done a variety of characters who've, uh, you know, with their backstories and stuff, that they belong to various parts of the world or even various, part, various parts of India. Mm -hmm. And how important is uh, diction, language, and you know, the way the character speaks to developing the character. If, if, the, if the story, if the script demands that, then it becomes very, very important. That's what I realized in Makbul. Uh, you know, at that time I was, it was my second film. And what I was doing, when I was trying to personalize things, I was putting my own way of speaking into, uh, you know, I was freshly coming from Hassel and, and that's what I was doing. And I, I, I did in Makbul and suddenly, I realized that uh, the power of the line has gone. Jesse mein apna word ghusela usme. Jesse mein usko dilute kiya. It was not a realistic language. Uh, it was a constructed language, but it has its own music and own power. Jaha mein usko chhod thani ki, you know, the, the power is gone. And I realized that then I, then I stuck to what Vishal has written. How has becoming famous changed you as a person? For example, you talked a little bit about how you had anxiety. So would you say that you're a happier person now that uh, you're successful? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, why do you ask this? Do you, do you, do you, do you, are you asking it uh, to understand that if one becomes uh, popular or, 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 or known, uh, does it make you happy? Yeah, that's exactly from your do, personal... Do you expect that? I'd love that he asked her why she known, asked. Be a happier person? No. <laughs> It depends, and you know what you, what you take of it. Sometimes uh, popularity or fame can can destroy you, and uh, sometimes personally with me, it has healed me. Uh, it has uh, you know, because I don't look at popularity just popularity because uh, uh, I uh, my focus is not just pop popularity is is, is is again byproduct. What I am doing is much more important for me, and that doing brings the popularity. So it's a byproduct. What you are doing to your job will bring a kind of, you know, whatever it will bring to you. So what relationship you have with you, with your job, uh, is it is it satisfying you? If that is satisfying you, then you know, uh, everything will fall into place. Hi sir, uh, you said playing characters excite you, so I would like to know, personally for you as an actor, what has been the most exciting and challenging character you've played till date? Uh, these are two things, exciting and challenging. There were some characters that were challenging but were very painful, very painful. And I was just uh, mentioning that in an interview. I did a character in, in a series called In Treatment. Uh, it was... Uh, I didn't know he was in that. Uh, with uh, Gabriel Byrne and I was playing a mentally uh, disturbed person. And the kind of writing it had was... Uh, it was a very complex character and his age was like 54, 56, 50 and whatever. I, my life didn't have that kind of complication. Mm. So where do I bring all those elements to fit, to fit into this, you know, this, this uh, outline of this character? So that was really painful for me. Mm. What, what all I was doing to myself to appear that I'm, I'm as disturbed as this character. So, the challenge was there to do that character, but that experience was not not not, mm. uh, not 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 enjoyable. It was painful. Mm. So when the shooting was over, I literally screamed as if I won the World Cup, and <laughs> everybody was surprised to what happened to me. And I'm out. I'm out. It's a wrap on air fun. Yes. I remember this guy, <laughs> but I carry this uh, you know this this thick script which I have to learn in in few days. Which was like I'm giving exam. It just reminded me of examination days. You know, where you could learn, 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 learn. And, you know, so uh, there are exciting characters like Pan Singh and other characters. You know, you enjoy and you want to keep. You know, you want to keep them in your, you know, in your, in your, in your being. You, know, you are you always yeah. uh, remember them with fondness and with warmth. You know. So Pansi was one of the characters, and there were a few, there are many more characters. Okay, thank you so much, Irfan. Thank you, Pansi. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Hmm. Good questions, too. Yeah. Uh, really good questions. And once again, I'm sorry I was told this was almost... I mean, it was mostly It English, was mostly hint. But in English. I, there was a certain segments that obviously I would have loved to have known what he'd been saying. Yeah. Some jokes that he said. And it just... It's how Indians speak, obviously. He's speaking in English and with, they're with other people. I can't be mad at him for just... Exactly. <laughs> speaking his, exactly. his own exactly. language. So, uh, I just I'm, wish I'm I would have known what he said. I'm grateful we got as much English as we did yeah. to, to, to understand it. So, um, yeah. But, man, yeah, he... Not, it wasn't surprising at all, some of his answers. The fact that he's... <laughs> Box office makes no difference. Yeah, the money the, the money doesn't make a difference. Uh, and b both in terms of what it makes and what you're paid. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't. They don't measure that. Don't talk about that. Um, I loved when he was asked the question about fame, and he wanted to know why she asked the question because mm -hmm. it's very true. Because there are people who pursue things because they want the fame, mm -hmm. and the fame is what they think is going to give them the satisfaction. And for some, it is. Yep. It's like. It's like how, how much truth is there for Lady Gaga's I Live for the Applause? Mm -hmm. There may have been a lot of truth in that. And then there's other people who it becomes a poison for them. And then there's other people who, like Irfan, it's, I, it was amazing for him to say, it healed me. And I think part of it, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but it's possible that for him, the link of the fame was commiserate to the level of success he had in the art form he likes to do. Yep. So that the more fame that he got commiserate to the work, it brought a healing sense of affirmation to the fact that I'm doing what I love doing mm -hmm. and people know about it versus I need the fame for my own sense of self-worth. Yep. He is definitely not the latter. He is, he is the former. He yeah. was an incredible whole, human being. The whole effortless style to his approach to, <laughs> which makes it the most, uh, like, that's the thing we've always said. If you've seen any of our reviews, if we've ever talked about your fun, the word to describe your fun is effortless, and the fact that he's kind of confirmed that this is how I do it. I mean, not always, obviously, so he says there's certain roles that you have to kind of really dig yourself and, and dig deep and do it, but like, even in those, he makes it look so effortless, but the yeah. fact that his process is just effortless a lot of times. Yeah, the fact that his process with some roles mm -hmm. is none. Yeah. And, and many of the greatest teachers that I've ever heard teach or read what they've taught, they'll tell you at the end of the day, after you've learned everything that you've learned, forget it. You, you really do need to do that. But he's taking it a completely different direction in terms of many times, and it, it shows in his work, of I do nothing. I, I don't create backstory. I don't think about what I'm going to do for substitution. I don't try to figure out what is my why, what's my motivation in this. I simply take the words from the page and I do what I do and then I'm done and I feel good about it. And it shows because, and that, that's like, I remember when we first learned from him, his approach to being exactly the same, that when that, when, when, but you should be the same person before action and after cut that you are in between, that there's no putting anything on. And uh, just doing something as simple as background work one day, I recognized, wow, it's really, it's really easy as an actor to fall prey, especially in film, to the tension that builds. Because there's a tension that builds on set. It's, okay, everybody quiet, please stop moving around. Rolling, okay, speed, quiet on the set. Get camera one, ready, camera two, ready, and slate, and... Action. There's a tension that's building up to that. Mm -hmm. And to be able to just be, yeah, speed, line, da da da, da 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 da, and action. So that's your fun. It's the best. He's the best. He's the best, man. Yep. Ugh, oh, it's so great to be able to speak with him. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. There's a lot of people, you know, <laughs> life's not fair. No. Nope. A lot of people still hear that. Shouldn't be. Yeah. And a lot of people that aren't that should. And I, 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 oh man, just to hear more of his wisdom and see more of his work. Yeah. Uh, he's missed. That was great. More. If there was anything that he said that, that uh, you feel like we need to know, please, you can let us know down below. Let more. Us know what he said, obviously, what should be our next Irfan film? We're going to watch everything he's done before we are dead. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, but let us know other earfun videos, whether it's interviews, clips, whatever. Everything. And uh, what if there's do? a video of him just, you know, having a snack on set, just anything anything he's ever done that's been captured on film or audio, yeah. send it this way. Yeah. <laughs> let us know. Come below. Just